Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, December the 16th, we've got a cracking day of action on ITV. On Saturday, eight races televised, five from Cheltenham, three from Doncaster. The ground, well, it's going to be on the softer side, but it's certainly not as bad as it looked like being earlier in the week. We've got a dry forecast for once for the weekend. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. It goes in the 115 at Cheltenham, a handicap chase over an extended two miles, a class two for four-year-olds and upwards. And I'm keen here on in excelsis dio of harry fry now this young chaser returned to the fray with a cracking third over this course and distance 49 days ago and i think he'll sharpen up dramatically with that run under his belt he's been given seven weeks to recover from that five career runs over fences so far i definitely think he wants better ground and he should get that here and regular rider jonathan burke will be looking to weave his way through late it has to be said harry fry's season hasn't really caught fire but he's always pretty sparing in how he runs his horses, places them carefully and he usually has an excellent strike rate by the time the season comes to an end and I think in excess of deer is by far the least exposed in this field our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by Bet365 goes in the 150 at Cheltenham this is the December Gold Cup handicap chase, a premier contest class 1, 4 year olds and upwards an extended 2 mile 4 and I like Mon Miral here, now he's been called a few names in the past he was actually a 5 time winner over her between 2020 and 2021 I think that then made him quite hard to place he's definitely got his share of quirks off the bridle but he's a smooth traveller he he goes like one who's a lot better than this grade he's run three times over fences so far and he's been highly tried against warm novices each time reading back through his form it's worked out pretty well and I think he's well treated now going into handicaps he's bound to be fit Paul Nichols has got a brilliant record in these valuable Saturday handicaps Cobden's book no jockey riding better and I think Mon Morale will be weaving his way through late off what should be a strong pace the remaining six races on ITV on Saturday we'll do them in time order Doncaster the 205 a novice handicap chase over two mile three well it's Harry Fry again here for me with deeper blue now this one's not been easy to train he forced to have a year off the track before his return at Plumpton in October and I thought he ran really well he was dropped out there schooled round really the winner of Dan's skeleton flew round from the front um, and made all the running but deeper blue was the only one to come out of the pack to chase him down and he's been given time to recover from that to try and avoid the bounce factor optimum conditions drying ground a flat track i think he'll go really well back to cheltenham for the 225 this will be a real test of stamina three mile two premier handicap class one for four-year-olds and up but i'm going to take a chance here on elvis male he's a horse i really like we've followed him from his early days at betting expert with novice hurdles in the north he was a very hard puller in his early days if you told me to stay three mile two later in life you'd be amazed but he's much more settled now he's now a sound jumper as well he got his act together last season and he returned with a career best run at Kelso only winning on the nod which has mean he's only inched up a few pounds which is helpful but I think this better race will suit him he'll be dropped out in rear to settle as usual by Bruce Lynn and hopefully he can come through late he is a thorough stayer now and they're going to go a right gallop in this big field back to Donny the 240 a handicap hurdle over two miles Jin Coco landed a right touch at Ascot last month in style winning well he has gone up in the weights career high mark to defy now but he's won three from nine he's still improving and lots of harrys have been coming on for the run so i expect him to keep on improving run to run he's booked the promising claimer ben bromley which is another big plus back to Cheltenham, the three o'clock the albert barton and novice hurdle a grade two over three miles i like cadell comes from a yard in blistering form lucinda russell did let down backers last time when turned over at kelso in november but that was a small field he was dropped out last and the pace never really quick and which didn't suit him he's a thorough stayer he's going to make a belting chaser in the north next season but the yard's flying i think he'll go really well here back to donny for the 315 a handicap chase over three miles well i don't normally tip charlie longston's horses unless it's sort of august or maybe april on decent ground but he has got castle robin out here and the ground should be drying out suitably he's had a really good record at doncaster in the past he's won once and been placed twice from 
from three career starts here. He's going to try and front run under Paul O'Brien, which is always a good plan of attack at Doncaster. Older listeners will remember Vol Rory's crown used to win there from the front every week, it seemed like. And Castle Robin will be making a bold bid to make all the running here. Back to Cheltenham, the 335, a brutally tough mare's handicap hurdle over two mile four. Good luck charm comes from a yard suddenly flying Anthony Honeyball. He's got lots of young horses this season. His versatile mare had a go at chasing. That didn't really work uh, last season, but she's three from five over hurdles. It was a career best win at Wincanton in November. She has gone up in the weights, but Sand Twist and Davis is booked, and I think she looks bound to run well with conditions to suit. Best of luck with all eight ITV races on Saturday, betting experts.